Hey Credit Warriors, welcome to the show and in this video I want to go through two things. First, the Chase Freedom and Freedom Flex cards just announced new 5x point earning categories for quarter three of 2024. And second, Chase has just announced a new Sapphire Lounge location and we're going to tell you all about it. Hey everyone, my name is Ben Hedges aka The Credit Shifu. I upload videos on credit cards, personal finance and luxury travel several times a week. If you like the sound of that, why not subscribe? But let's get into the stories. So first of all, we'll talk about the new quarterly categories on the Chase Freedom and Freedom Flex cards. If you don't know, Chase's Freedom cards have rotating quarterly categories where you can earn 5% cash back, which is also convertible to 5x points per dollar on $1,500 worth of spending for the quarter. If you have two Freedom cards like I have, and Chase does allow you to have two, um, you can have a $3,000 spending limit. And if you have three, it's $4,500, right? I used to have three, but I had to cancel one because I never maxed them out. First of all, what are the categories that you still have access to and you have about two weeks to max out, right, until the end of June? Well, those would be Amazon, hotels, and restaurants. Now, you can see that I'm about three quarters of the way through on my Freedom Flex card, all right? Three quarters of the way to maxing them out. And this quarter was unique in that two of the categories on the Freedom Flex, there is already a bonus for them, okay? It's 3% on dining and 3% on hotels. And so it ended up, if you used the Freedom Flex card for dining, you actually got 7%, okay? You would think it would be eight, but no, because of the way it's worked out, it's seven. And if you booked a hotel through Chase Travel, you got 9%. So I've been using the Freedom Flex quite a lot, and I've almost maxed it out through dining, all right? I've been going to a lot of meals, okay? Korean barbecue, hot pot, etc. Now, if you have the old Freedom, okay? The other Freedom card I have is the older Freedom. It doesn't have those categories. So you wouldn't be getting the 7%, the 9%. You'd need to product change to the Freedom Flex if you wanted that. On the old Freedom, it's just 5% like normal. So if you want to make the most of those categories, categories you've got until the end of the month. But now let's actually take a look at the categories that the Freedom Cards will have in the upcoming quarter. Okay, that's quarter three of 2024. Get ready. Three, two, one. They are gas, EV charging stations, select live entertainment and movie theaters. In my opinion, it's a great set of categories. Anytime that I can earn 5x points on gas, I jump at the chance. For gas, I use the Walmart Plus app on my phone and that gets me a discount of 10 cents off per gallon at mobile gas stations. And that's a perk of the Amex Platinum, okay? free Walmart Plus membership. Then I switch my payment method to the Freedom Card for my gas transactions and I earn 5% or 5x on gas. So that category is of great use to me. The other categories, they won't benefit me so much, okay? Entertainment, etc. Maybe you'd get benefit out of them. Leave your comments below and tell me what you think. And also put a link to a full review of the Freedom Flex down below for those that are interested in the card. Right, let's now talk about the new Sapphire Lounge. So Chase just announced that they will be opening a new Sapphire Lounge at LAX Airport in LA. The lounge is gonna be 9,234 square feet, which is a little bit on the small side, but you know, it's not tiny. And it will be near gate 148 in the Tom Bradley International Terminal. Not Tom Brady. FTX is the safest and easiest way to buy and sell crypto. It's the best way to get in the game. Tom Bradley, he was a mayor of Los Angeles. And judging by this map here, being next to gate 148 is a pretty central location in that terminal. And LAX allows you to walk between all the different terminals airside. So potentially, passengers with flights departing from any terminal will be able to use this lounge. In practice though, if your timing is a bit tight, you might not have time or you might not be bothered to walk all the way if you're at a terminal that's especially far away from the Tom Brady terminal. So far, we just have one computer rendered image of the inside of the lounge. It shows a bar with a huge chandelier above it and big windows that look out onto the airfield. There is another rendering of the outside of LAX with an entrance to the Sapphire Lounge but we're not really sure if this is actually a real thing or if it's just something done for marketing purposes. Since being behind security near the gates, in theory, it wouldn't have an outside entrance. We also have this plan from a document from LAX from a few years back that shows what many people online believe to be the location of the lounge, this section marked club. Shout out to One Mile at a Time for drawing our attention to that. The LA Times broke this story and were able to do an interview with Dana Powell's head of airport lounge benefits and strategic partnerships for Chase. Here is what Powell said. Los Angeles is home to many card members and a popular destination amongst Chase travelers. And as a native Angelino, okay, someone who lives in Los Angeles, who frequently travels through LAX to visit 
at home, I'm excited to bring a Chase Sapphire Lounge to my home city. That really is just the usual press release type statement that they put out and really doesn't say anything. But, you know, I'm sure the lounge will be really cool and I'm excited to check it out next time I'm in LA. You get unlimited access to the Chase Sapphire lounges with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. I'll put a link to that below. And you can also get one visit per year on Priority Pass from any card, which is probably to get you interested so you apply for the Sapphire Reserve. Other locations include Hong Kong, New York, LaGuardia and JFK and Boston. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Links to all the cards mentioned are below, as well as my general credit card guide where you can find loads of cool credit card deals. So if you're in the market for a new card, do check it out using our links. Help support independent journalism about the US credit card industry. So we thank you very much if you do. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.